they cannot stay afloat for like two months. I mean, what's wrong with these people? Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. And I've been uh, seeing lots of videos and articles online that millions of people cannot pay their bills. Yeah. Really? I mean, just about two months with no pay for some people, but they're still going to be getting paid, you know, whether it's stimulus or unemployment, even though it's a little bit late. They cannot stay afloat for like two months. I mean, what's wrong with these people? So a lot of people were not able to pay their bills even before, but now they have a good excuse because of all this um, pandemic and all this stuff. So this is just an excuse. Most people who cannot pay their bills, they were in bad financial shape before. They were like barely surviving paycheck to paycheck before. And most people, they were doing living paycheck to paycheck uh, because either their bills are too high because they may be uh, spending too much or buying something that's more expensive than they can afford. Maybe they have a debt, their credit card debt. Maybe they have a car loan. Maybe they got into a mortgage, which is too much compared to how much they make. So all this can cause lots of financial problems and making person living paycheck to paycheck. So, and to blame it on just the current situation, I mean, that's their own fault. It's not the pandemic's fault. It's those people's fault. So I read lots of stuff online that some people are doing strikes not to pay their uh, rent, not to pay their uh, credit card bills. I mean, you know, just because they're being ir irresponsible, now they're gonna create even more trouble for every everybody else. Like if a tenant does not pay to their landlord, their landlord in many cases cannot pay f to the bank for the mortgage for that property that they're renting. Um, and if the bank does not get this money from for the mortgage, well, right now, there's um, there's all kinds of programs they get can get onto it, uh, but still the bank is gonna have problems because those mortgages are s sold as bonds, and then those um, companies or people who own those bonds, they're not gonna get paid, and maybe they're down the line counting on that income. So now those people will not be able to pay their their bills if that, you know. It goes like, if one person cannot pay their bills, it goes to like, down the line, the whole um, food chain cannot pay their bills. So by doing this, they're not gonna make it any better. They're gonna even make it worse for everybody else. And, you know, not paying the bills that you're supposed to pay, first of all, is irresponsible. The second of all, it's stealing. And you know now they have those rules that it's they're making it easier for people not to pay their rent. Uh, but I, but I think you know some people are just using it as excuse. So if today many people cannot pay pay their rent, so what are we gonna have tomorrow or the next months? Millions of people cannot pay for their food. Uh, and then a few months later, millions of people are dying of, um, of hunger. I mean, is that what they're trying to do? So we certainly don't want to end up like those people who cannot pay their food, their rent, their mortgage or other things. We should be prepared. We should have emergency fund. Um, that's the most necessary and obvious thing. So you could pay your utilities and your mortgage or rent for the next few months. Also, we should have some food stockpiled, you know, at home, the non-perishable kind. And also, of course, still more money to be able to buy 
some fresh fruits and vegetables so I have a video where I stockpiled some food um, after that I bought some more uh, food um, the best things to stockpile are the tuna cans and look for the ones that have a good expiration date 2000 I mean 2022 2023 um, I haven't seen any with the 2024 expiration date but if I see some I'll buy them but <laughs> Yeah, and I've been dehydrating some um, vegetables. I also bought some um, nuts and some dehydrated fruits too. So if that's how it's going to be going on, we should be prepared, you know, to not end up in this kind of situation because we're not, most of us are not only responsible for feeding and housing ourselves one person most of us have kids that also need food and place to sleep and uh, you know stuff all the stuff they you know, that normal people need so we're also and many of us also have pets that need also need food you know and we're not only responsible just for ourselves so because we don't want to be irresponsible people who cannot pay and then end up being homeless with uh, nothing you know with no food or nothing else and you know like right now in in the previous years homeless people were able to get some food from food banks and all other places right now if a lot of people are struggling those uh, organizations that rely on donations you know they might not have enough for everybody because there's a lot of people who need help from them right now even more and more people need help from them and if we're gonna we don't want to be those people who need help because that help what they're providing they might it might not be enough for everybody that's in the first place and you know it's it's for us we need not only to survive we also need to have good nutrition clean place to sleep and all that just to continue with our normal life we don't want to like spiral down to become it's like what i'm trying to say i don't want my life and my family's life to become worse just because somebody somewhere cannot pay their bills you know because i'm trying to do my best to be able to pay my bills have enough food and all that so you might want to try that too <laughs> so thank you guys for watching please let me know in the comments down below how are you preparing and to be able to pay your bills and to have enough food and whether you think those people who cannot pay their bills they're just irresponsible or it's somebody else's fault that they cannot pay their bills thanks for watching bye